Right guys, we have CAD renders at last of the Apple Watch Series 7 and to no one's surprise, it's near identical to the renders we already have from John Prosser. So that means that yes, we're seeing that beautiful flat edge design with the Apple Watch. And so let's delve into this report, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. So this information is from 9to1 Mobiles, they're pretty credible, they gave us CAD renders of the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro a few weeks ago, so yes, we can trust the info. So let's begin with the obvious people, yes, we're getting flat edges, so much like the iPhone 12 series, the iPad Pro, the new iMac, the Apple Watch is going to follow suit and give us those amazing flat sides. Also, you can see the display itself is much flatter, much like Mark Gurman said in a recent report. And talking about Mark Gurman, he said, we we're going to see thinner bezels. And 91 Mobiles pretty much confirms this by saying we're going to get a 1.8 inch display compared to 1.73 inches on the current 44 millimeter Series 6. Oh, also 91 Mobiles confirms surprisingly the sizes themselves are going to stay the same. So unlike previous redesigns, no, they're not getting bigger. They're going to be 40 and 44 millimeters, but the screens themselves are getting larger because of the thinner bezels. And in case you're wondering about the screen size on the 40 millimeter, we have no details regarding that. But I'm assuming there's going to be a similar proportional increase in display size with the 40 and 44 millimeter sizes. Now, I know some of you guys might be concerned about comfort with the new flat edge design. But one thing to note is that we can see in the renders from John Prosser, the design is not as sharp as the flat edges on the iPhone 12 series. So this really is a mix between the current design and the iPhone 12's flat edges. And so hopefully that means it shouldn't be too uncomfortable when wearing. The report also mentions the Apple Watch Series 7 is going to be 1.7 millimeters thinner. So that again is a procedure Apple's taking to make this Apple Watch as comfortable to wear as the previous designs. Now it is interesting the body is a lot thinner because you might remember there were reports about the S7 SIP being more space efficient and being a much smaller package. And so I'm assuming that's allowed Apple to make the Apple Watch thin and possibly give us a larger battery as well. Oh, and also Mark Gurman did say that Apple's using a new lamination technique that brings the display closer to the front cover. So that again is probably helping this Apple Watch be a lot thinner than the current design. Now on the right hand side of the watch, there are no changes with the digital crown and the side button, but there is a massive change on the other side because we're about to see much larger speaker grills, much like John Prosser's render showcased. And well, this new design element still hasn't grown on me. I prefer the current design. So yes, I'm hoping this is wrong. But of course, if it is true, then at least give us better speaker quality on the Apple Watch. Finally, for those of you that have existing watch bands, this CAD render does suggest that existing watch bands should work just fine with the new design. So yeah, that is fantastic news. And well, that's pretty much it. So yes, like I've said in previous videos, the Apple Watch Series 7 is solely focused on the new design. That is the biggest feature, but of course, if you were expecting any other feature upgrades, like new health features, for example, that does not seem to be the case with the Series 7. It's purely an aesthetics upgrade, and it's for those who want those glorious flat edges. But tell me in the comments below, are you looking forward to the redesign of the Apple Watch Series 7 or not? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the cut above on details regarding the iPad Pro M2. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.